A couple of months ago, I created a pair of videos explaining chroma key masking, so essentially green screen work, and I may have overcomplicated it just a little bit. So in this video, I plan on correcting that and showing you the easiest way ever to do green screen in DaVinci Resolve 17. Before I get into the rest of the video, I do just want to share a quick message with you. This is the first video that I'm releasing since this channel has hit 1,000 subscribers. This is a huge milestone, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this journey. Next up, 10,000. With that said, hit subscribe if you're not already. We're going to jump into this video right now. In my last video, I showed you two different methods for editing green screen work. Number one was in the color page, which I think we can both agree was completely useless. Number two, however, was in the fusion page, and while it was effective, it wasn't really the easiest method. The reason I'm releasing this video is because as I'm redoing my DaVinci Resolve certifications, I actually realized that there's a much easier way to do it. So instead of overcomplicating things, as I do have a tendency to do, I want to show you a really simple, quick, and easy method to get this green screen work going. First thing we're going to do is jump into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I've pulled my footage from that last video directly into DaVinci Resolve, and it's not because I'm lazy, it's just because I've already worked with it and it's convenient. So. Don't judge me. So in this footage, I'm standing in front of a green screen. I plan on cutting out this green screen as well as all the extra stuff, and I only plan on doing it using one tool. So unlike using the color page and the fusion page where you had to use multiple nodes, this one, no, it's one and you're done. Yeah, it's gonna be quick and easy. So what we're gonna do is apply the effect to each one of these clips individually. First thing that we wanna do though is drag this up to the next layer. So I have all of these selected. I'm going to hold Alt and push up. That's going to drag it onto video layer number two. And then I'll deselect. I'm going to come over here to images and the image that I'm going to use for my background is this picture that I took when I was in Santa Monica two years ago. And I'm just going to drag that down to the bottom layer over here. Click this, click on the end, push E to extend the edit. So first thing we're gonna do is come up to effects and then we're gonna come down here to open FX and filters, come down and look for resolve FX key. And right here, what we're looking for is the 3D keyer. Come over here, drag it on top, and then come over here to effects. You wanna make sure you have your picker selected and also you wanna come over to this little dropdown and make sure that you have open FX overlay selected and enabled. If it's enabled, it'll be bright white. If it's not, then it's gonna be a dark gray. At that point, you're gonna click on and drag across the green. And I am gonna disable this background for right now, just so I can work with the key a little bit more. So you'll notice there's a lot of extra green fringing along the edges here. And to get rid of that, what we're going to do is click on despill and drag it all the way to the right. So it says one and that gets rid of it. You may need to adjust your key a little bit. If you do, these are the settings that you're going to go for. I think for the most part, our key is good, but I do want to come down here to matte finesse and I'm going to work with this a little bit. Now, matte finesse works the same way that it does in the color page. If you were to go over to the color page and come over here to your key, this is matte finesse that's over here. I wanna play with the matte finesse a little bit to make it match because there's still that fringing along the edges and obviously that's, it's not good. Come over here to effects, go to matte finesse. And that should look pretty good. The problem that I have here is that it's just not, the coloring isn't necessarily ideal for the background. So, I mean, you obviously wanna make sure that your lighting is proper. My lighting is not proper at all. And in fact, the coloring on this and the shadows and such aren't even in the right position. So even though this isn't perfect, your results are definitely going to vary a little bit. It really just depends on their circumstances. Or what I want to do is get rid of the rest of this. And what we can do for that is come over here to garbage mat, 
grab this drop down, bring it down to rectangle. You wanna grab it by the corners. If you don't grab it by the corners, you will redo the key and it'll look something like that. Obviously, you don't want that, so Control Z, undo, undo. Bring this down to rectangle, grab the corner. And then come over here, click on invert, and all you had to do was use that one tool, 3D keyer. So great, it's applied on one clip, but I still have multiple clips. Once you have the first one done, the rest of it is easy. All you have to do is select your clip, copy, hit Control C, click on the clips that you want to affect. So in this case, I held Shift and I clicked to the end. Push Alt V. Under Video Attributes, you're gonna click on Plugins, click Apply, and now, across the board, it's done. Overall, the process is really simple. Now you may have the thought that you can use this with adjustment clips and you can't. It just won't work. You will be left with a black background. Um, I tried, <laughs> I did, but it's really not that hard to edit and to copy and paste. This method is so much easier than using the Fusion and the color page. It just, all your tools are right here in DaVinci Resolve 17, yeah told you it was simple. Before I go, I do want to just say that I haven't been as consistent as I would like to be on this channel, at least not over the last few months. I do have a lot of great content planned for the next year, so you better be ready for it. On that note though, what do you want me to cover? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, smash that like button if you got value out of this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll catch you later.